All right, hi there. I'm going over uh, UFPS uh, using Shooter AI, uh, modifying some scripts and some other uh, setup changes uh, that I did to get this to work well with uh, Ultimate FPS. Okay, so the first change that I made was under Shooter AI, Editor Brain, Gateway Games Brain Editor. On line 63, I added uh, this code, you should be able to read it. I tried to make it uh, large enough to read. So just pause the video and type this on line 63. Uh, save and close. Alright, the next script that I modified, Shooter AI, Scripts, Weapons, Weapon Specific. It's this uh, Gateway Games Weapon Script. Uh, so this one is just a personal preference. I wanted it to give a melee hit sound whenever any AI has a weapon that they're um, uh, whenever they hit. So you don't have to make this change. This is just something that I did uh, for myself because I wanted a, a attack sound. Uh, so row, there's a new row 91. You want to add public audio clip melee hit sound. It's um, you'll see in the, it's right after this public float melee attack distance. I put it there so when I see it in the editor uh, the flow works better. Uh, you got a new row 327 to 331 inside the on trigger enter. Uh, you'll see that there's a collider info uh, dot transform. Um, it's in the global pace. When you open the script you'll, you'll see. Uh, so if parentheses melee hit sound is not equal to null which is what we assigned up here in the public. So if it's not null, we're going to use whatever sound. So a source dot clip equals melee hit sound. A source dot play one shot melee hit sound. Uh, basically, uh, this piece of this code, whenever uh, the it actually deals damage, I just put this right after the dealing the damage piece. All right, the other script that I edited, um, it's another personal preference. So Shooter AI scripts, helper scripts, this cleanup after death. Um, basically, I opened it. Um, I changed the name of it. So originally, it was just cleanup after death. So I just put this two initials with the underscore. And then I did file save as, and I saved it as what's right here. Um, so basically I added this public game object death spawn. So I added the public game object death spawn, zoomed in so you could see better. Um, down here under this, uh, within the remove body, all you're going to see is this destroy game object, uh, which I hate destroy, but anyways. Um, so I say if despawn is not equal null, so whatever you put in here, then we're going to use this uh, uh, UFPS utility. It's VP underscore utility dot instantiate parentheses death spawn, the name of the object, comma transform dot position and transform dot rotation. I'm using this for whenever the AI dies, it's going to spawn an object that then I can use that object to keep track of score or anything else. So my particular death spawn object is, um, I just called it add points. So this is the script. You can pause it. Basically I've got a public int where I've got how many points I want to add. As um, uh, soon as this thing, so it's going to spawn, as soon as it's going to awake, it's going to run this. Uh, after it, I have a score manager where I've got a score variable and I've got a killed variable. Um, so I increase my kill by one, and then whatever I put in here, 50 points or whatever, it's going to add that to the score, and then it's going to destroy this game object, which, yes, I don't like using destroy, but um, at the end of the video, I'll go over what my uh, manager score, which is referenced here, I'll go over uh, what the script is, it's a, it's a pretty basic script. Um, but here I'll just uh, scroll down. So 
so that you can type it if you want, if I don't have time. So that's the whole script, so just pause and update. Um, and then here's my uh, manager game control. I watched a Unity video that we talked about serialization, so you probably want to watch that video. It goes into great detail. Um, I basically, I just took that and <laughs> basically copied it and uh, set this up. So I've got my high score, I've got my total kills. And then if I scroll down here, there's the awake function. Uh, don't destroy this on load. I'm going to show you the save function. Um, this actually goes, yep. And then I'll show you my load function. So this is the load function. And then I will show, here's my player data. So I've just got high score and total kills. Um, like I said, I'll go over this uh, at the end of the video if I have time. Otherwise, I'll do a new video. So here's my prefab. It's just an empty game object. I added the add points. You can make that whatever you want. I made it one. And then on my zombie prefab, I added the new script. Um, put a respawn time at two. And uh, here's my points. So that's this right here. And then I'm going to do the same thing on so I'm just going to copy this. So you're going to want to put this on any AI that you have if you want to do a um, if you want to have a like score or something like that. So it'll instantiate this object after two seconds and then it'll add points. My score manager is also an empty game object. I've got my uh, manager game control uh, script on it got some items exposed just so I can see what's going on and then I've got my manager score I've got um, I'll, I'll show you these uh, towards the end as well uh, the in GUI labels that I added alright so under shooter AI prefabs you've got these fully finished characters there's a soldier and there's a zombie prefab I'm gonna use these you can watch gateway games there um, they've got a bunch of videos on how to do stuff So under this enemy stats now in the game, in the brain, you're going to have this um, min distance to exposed. So it's actually to enemy. Um, I changed this to 1.5 for my uh, melee uh, guy. I also changed the gateway game's movement. I made that 3. Uh, stopping distance is 3. And then if you look under the uh, weapon manager for the zombie, uh, you click on the weapon. So over here on the weapon I have the melee distance to three and this is where your hit sound is going to show up. This, so melee hit sound um, put, just put something in there so you can uh, test it out. Uh, the next thing on this uh, gateway games so this is on your weapon the gateway games uh, weapon script um, you need to make sure this damage model if it's on region based you need to change it to global so that it works with uh, UFPS. Uh, luckily they expose damage method name this is going to say damage when you get to it so you don't need to change that. Under the health manager for the prefab this health body and the health head I copied this component and I pasted it as new and I turned off the is trigger so I did that for both of them and I do that for any of the um, um, shooter AI. Uh, there's probably a better method to do this, but this is just how I did it so that anytime I, the UFPS characters use an melee weapon, since it uses sphere cast, it needs to um, hit a collider. You're going to want to make the tag of the enemy, make sure it says player. So same thing for the soldier. Uh, this main weapon uh, it's going to be, it'll probably be region based, you need to change this to global. So anytime you have a weapon you need to do that. 
Uh, the health manager, do the same thing we did on the other one, where we've got our collider. Under the enemy data, you're going to need to change this. I think it's going to show up as Team 1, so just change it to uh, Player. And you're going to apply your changes so that it takes. All right, the other thing I did is I found a nice uh, little spot over here. Um, so I created an empty game object. Uh, you could call this whatever you want. Um, this is my soldier spawner. Um, under the scripts, the helper script, I added this generic spawn manager, changed my team size to one, then I dragged in, uh, so this is how many spawns, so if I had like ten spawns around the level, but I just have one. So the spawn is this object. In the prefab we're using, we're going to drag in the fully finished prefab that we just created, and I just have a max team amount of six. So when I hit play, it's going to populate five in this area. See? Uh, because the other one is actually it's actually down there shooting at me right now. Okay, other thing that I did, um, I did the patrol manager. I changed the wander. I just did a, um, a t p turn wander on. I did this for both the uh, both of these guys. So you have wander range. Um, so I've got that set up. So if you look at the soldier, he's got a small little wander area. But if you look at the zombie prefab, I've got a larger uh, wander area. So basically I just changed these waypoints. So you've got the first ones there, there's one over there, and there's one over here on the, on the stairwell. Um, so that's why it draws the purple line going through. Um, I created a basic little in GUI panel. I've got a score label. Um, and I've got a kills label and I reference these under my score manager so I drag the score label and the, and the kills label um, so that in the game view whenever I hit play so my fix was to do this uh, capsule collider uh, the extra ones without the trigger um, it seems to work fine uh, but the gateway games guys recommended um, to actually uh, edit the VP FP weapon melee attack script, uh, line 182. Um, so basically, they added this code at line 182. So you just paste this code in. I have not tested it, uh, but this is their fix. So they suggest to use this so that when you do a melee attack from UFPS, it actually. Um, you won't have to use these capsule colliders. Uh, like I said, I haven't tested it out. I just received this fix today, so I just went ahead and, um, you know, put it in here. It looks pretty straightforward. So um, you can use this or use my method. Like I said, I haven't tested my method out a whole lot, but it does appear to work. Uh, but if you run into issues, you want to set this up. So my manager game control script, if you want to understand how this uh, all works, I would suggest going to the Unity website, learn tutorials, and screw down here under this persistence saving and loading data. Um, they actually have, uh, this, is a this is a really good, uh, so if you watch this, then you'll understand what my script does. Uh, so the main thing that my manager score does, I'm using two static variables, that's the score and the kill that we used, and I'm just um, adding it to my, I mean I'm, I'm not doing high scores right now, uh, but I've got a high score, and uh, basically it's just adding the value uh, so that I can then save it to high scores and load it, and it's all encrypted, um, serialized so that it uh, can't be accessed for a game. Um, uh, so that's basically that's my quick little setup of all the things I changed. I know it's almost 15 minute video but uh, hopefully the next one will be more fun.